Hello and welcome to part 3 of this A-Level Physics ISA help series. This time we're looking at percentage uncertainty. This is something that I've found a lot of students do tend to struggle with, but once you get the idea in your head, it is very possible to get it right every time. Now, take a look at what we've got on the screen. We've got a voltmeter that is measuring a range of 0 to 20 volts, and it is measuring a value of 4.68 volts. Now we know from that that the precision of the voltmeter is 0.01 volts. And the reason we know that is because the smallest measurement that this voltmeter can take is given to us by the precision there. The smallest measurement would be 0.01 volts. So that is the precision of the voltmeter. Now to work out the uncertainty in any measurement from the voltmeter, we could just say, for example, 4.68, because the precision is 0.01, we can say that the uncertainty in that measurement is 4.68 plus or minus 0 0.01, which means that the measurement of 4.68 is actually somewhere in the range from 4.67 to 4.69. But we kind of understand that the midpoint of that is 4.68. Now to calculate that uncertainty as a percentage, what we have to do is take the precision, which in this case is 0.01, divide that by the value, 4.68, and then times by 100. And that will give us the percentage uncertainty in that value. In this case, 0.01 divided by 4.68, and then times by 100 gives us an answer of... 0.2%. Now, it's important to note that that value could be expressed in many more decimal places than that. But with percentage uncertainties, we only express them to, to a maximum of two significant figures. Okay, And usually what that translates to is actually one decimal place, never any more than that. Sometimes life does get a bit more complicated though, and you actually take more than one value for your measurement. So in this case, I've got three measurements of the potential difference in a table, and I've calculated the mean of those. Now, when that happens, you can't just use the precision to calculate the uncertainty. You have to take into account the fact that when you repeated this measurement, due to random uncertainties, called things going wrong with your circuit, differences, small differences perhaps, that you hadn't taken account of, I um, mean, the three measurements in potential difference terms, it could be heating of the wire, for example, or kinks in the wire, or something of that kind. We've now got a spread of results. So you have to take that into account. And the way to work out the percentage uncertainty now is to do half the spread um, of the results divided by the mean and times by 100. Now, what do I mean by the spread? Well, the spread of these results is the maximum value take away the minimum value so in this case, that would be, the maximum is 4.68, the minimum is 4.62, so the spread of those results is actually 0 0.06 volts. Okay, Half of that spread would obviously be half of 0 0.06, which is 0 0.03 volts, and it's half the spread that we use for our uncertainty. If you think about it, it's a bit like the plus or minus effect. If the whole spread is 0 0.06, then half of it would give us effectively the plus or minus value. So to work out the percentage uncertainty, what we'll do is we use that half spread, in this case 0 0.03, divide that by the mean value, which is 4.65, and times that by 100. And in this case, that comes out at 0. 6%. And notice again, expressing that to one decimal place, no more. So the basic rule is, if you haven't got repeat measurements, you need to use the precision. If you have got repeat measurements, you need to use half the spread when you're calculating the percentage uncertainty, always expressed to one decimal place. Thank you for watching. That's the end of the percentage uncertainty. We'll deal with combining uncertainties in a later uh, show.